Hello and welcome. This is an overview of the standard deviation. The standard deviation is a measurement of the rate of dispersion or volatility around an average or expected value of a set of random data. The standard deviation shows how tightly clustered around or how spread out a set of data is from the mean or average of that data. In other words, if one takes an average of a set of random data, such as the periodic daily returns of an asset, the standard deviation shows how spread out or scattered the data is from that mean. The standard deviation is sometimes referred to as the measurement of the scatter, and although not completely accurate, the standard deviation is also sometimes referred to as the average distance away from the average. The symbol for the standard deviation is the Greek letter sigma which is a circle with a little line extending to the right. The standard deviation creates a range around the mean such that a certain percentage of the data falls within the range and a certain percentage lies outside of the range. On a set of random data, a range of one standard deviation around the mean contains about 68% of the data. In other words, about 68% or about two-thirds of the data will be within one standard deviation of the mean. Furthermore, if we double the standard deviation, then the range around the average is two standard deviations above and two below. This range will contain about 95% of the data. In other words, about 95% of the data will be within two standard deviations of the mean. If we increase the range to three standard deviations above and three below, about 99% of the data will fall within that range. In other words, about 99% of the data will be within three standard deviations of the mean. This is known as the empirical rule. We can use multiples and fractions of the standard deviation to figure out a range for any percent of the data. We can then use this to calculate out the probability or odds of a future event occurring, which we will cover more in later videos. In finance, historical volatility is the standard deviation of the periodic returns. In most cases, the historical volatility of an asset is the standard deviation of the periodic daily returns over one year. This is the rate of change that the stock went up and down each day, not the dollar amount that the stock changed in price, which is a common error often made. So in short, the historical volatility of an asset is the standard deviation of the periodic daily returns over a one-year period. When the data is more spread out, for instance, when a stock price has large gains and losses each day, it means that the stock has more volatility. In other words, it means it has a larger standard deviation. When the data fluctuates up and down less, it means the stock has lower volatility or a smaller standard deviation. Standard deviation is used in probability calculations. The average of the data and the standard deviation of the data are the two inputs used to create a normal distribution curve. Standard deviation is also used to measure risk and return, such as mean variance optimization, which is used in modern portfolio theory to determine asset allocation based on risk and return. Standard deviation also has many other uses that go beyond the scope of this video. It is a useful tool in many aspects that are well worth studying. So that is an introduction to the standard deviation. In the next video, we will cover the math involved in calculating out the standard deviation. However, I will mention ahead of time that the standard deviation function is built right into Excel and Google Docs. So while it is good to understand the math behind the calculations, one never has to actually do the calculations by hand. See you in the next video.